What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button down there. That's what time it is. Where is it at? Right there? Over there. I, I, why don't I remember? And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. That's what time it is. I went and saw Dora in the Lost City of Gold. Sneak peek, Dora in the Lost City of Gold. Based off the cartoon, Dora. Dora, 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 Dora the Explorer. <laughs> you know the cartoon. My kids loved it. Love the cartoon. Always watch your backpack so I know all the songs. Swipe or no swiping. All the classic Dora stuff. All of it. Well, let me tell you. The movie is totally a homage to the cartoon. It even starts out with Dora kind of talking to the cameras like she does in the cartoon, you know, having you repeat it at home, a, a Spanish word, delicioso. She's sitting at dinner, Deli say it after, repeat after me, delicioso. So you're wondering, is this gonna movie gonna be kind of cheesy like the cartoon like that? And it is in a way, but it puts a funny spin on it. Like she's talking to the cameras, delicioso. And her parents, Michael Pena, who I love, plays her dad, and then Eva Longoria. It plays her mom in this. So she's talking the game is delicioso and they're like looking at each other and like, who is she talking to? So they bring in the cheese. Also in the movie, you see Diego, her cousin. They show at the beginning when they're younger and they're growing up together in the jungle and doing stuff, but he leaves. So that's kind of a sad part, right? She stays in the jungle, does, you know, e exploring in the jungle with her parents. Yes, Boots is in this also, her little monkey. And she's not ready for some of the big exploring that they're about to go do. So what do they do? They send her off to live with Diego in the big city in California, like L.A. They send her, who's never been out the jungle, to L.A., an even crazier jungle, right, <laughs> to go to high school. Let me tell you, the girl who plays Dora, Isabella Moner, is perfect. It is perfect. She has that voice that Dora has, always upbeat. Hi, I'm Dora. Hi, da da da. She's going to high school. Hi, we want to be friends. I'm Dora. Da da. Has her backpack. <laughs> it's amazing. She hits Dora to a T. You would think she grew up watching Dora every single day and practice how she talked. She look, has the look. She acts like Dora. She's perfect in this role. Perfect. It's a very family friendly, wholesome movie. You don't get any bad words. They don't even really have situations that are kind of inappropriate. The biggest thing is they might have like a little kiss, you know, like if they're in high school, they have, might have, you know, a little kiss, but there's no like inappropriate, you know, sexual cut into windows, nothing like that. The craziest they get in this is fart jokes, which I love. Fart and poop jokes. Yes, they have those. The movie is full of cheesiness, corniness, but in the same token, it is totally cute and adorable. Your kids will love it. You will love it. You will enjoy now, it. Let's talk about Diego. The kid who played Diego, his name is Jeff Wahlberg. Yes, Wahlberg. That is Mark Wahlberg's nephew. Totally a Wahlberg in this movie. I had no idea until I came back and, and looked up some things on him. He's a great actor. He is. He has those cute Wahlberg genes. Total homage to the cartoon. You get even a little glimpse of some animated parts. You do, there's this whole scene, I don't wanna give it away, but it brings back the animation, which makes you just fall in love with the Dora. I love game. the message of the story. If you are looking for a great, family-friendly, wholesome movie where you don't have to worry about inappropriate situations, you don't have to worry about language, the worst you get is a poop joke and a fart joke then I suggest taking your kids to see this. I know the kids will love it. If they love Dora, then they will definitely love this. And you will too. I'm surprised how much I enjoyed this. I would definitely go see it again. And I give it two thumbs up. Well done, Dora. Well done. Dora in the Lost City of Gold.